level 5 grade E rounding decimals. Now we're going to look at rounding to the nearest whole number and then the nearest one decimal place or 1DP as it's called. So to the nearest whole number if I just have a look at some of these numbers 9.4, 9.4, 9.1, 2, 3, 4, 9.4 um, 7.7, 7, 7.567, and 7.48, and then we're going to somewhere between 7.4 and 7.5. Uh, 7.5 is going to be 7.48. Okay, back to the 9.4. Now, round to the nearest whole number. Which whole number is it closest to? Well, the yellow. And blue bands here can show you that it's closer to the number nine than it is to the number eleven. Um, if it's if it's between halfway between the two numbers, if it's below halfway between the two numbers, then we round it down. If it's above halfway, we round it up. If it's exactly on halfway, the convention is we round up, although it is actually halfway. So uh, nine point four to the nearest whole number is going to be nine. Uh, I'm using a squiggly equals there because it's not equal to nine, but it's approximately equal to nine. And to the nearest whole number, 7.7 .7 is going to be 8. And 5.5, .5, that's halfway, so we the convention is we round it up to 6. And 7.48, 7.4 um, is below 7.5. The 8 doesn't really matter that much, because it just puts it somewhere between 7.4 and 7.5. So that is going to be 7. Now, a quicker way of thinking about this is to chop off the number because we're not always going to have a number line available to look at the numbers themselves. We're going to have to just have the number on its own. So we we think when we do it to the nearest whole number, chop off the whole number and think about is it closer to nine or is it closer to ten? Well, this is nine point seven five, and the five is is unimportant really. We're just looking at the sec the, the digit after the whole number. This point seven in this case. Is that above halfway? Is that equal to halfway or above? So is it five or more? And that's a seven, so that's going to round it up to the next whole number, which is ten. This one, um, eight point five is halfway, so this is slightly over halfway, so that's going to round up to nine. This number is between ten and eleven. Um, the seven doesn't matter, so we look at the four. That's below halfway, so that's going to round down to ten, and we're looking at this bit, these digits don't matter, 6 is above halfway so we're going to round it up to 7. Now one decimal place, it's the same idea except we're just moving over one digit so we're cutting across into here. 8.93, let's have a look at some of these on the diagram, 8.9, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93 8.66, 8 8.66, 6, 6, and 9.04. OK, so 8.93 is clearly closer to 8.9 than it is to 9. It's somewhere between 8.9 and 9.0, but it's closer to 8.9, so we say that's approximately 8.9, and we should really write 1dp after that. I don't really have the space for that. 8.66, we can see that's close to 8.7. 9.04, we can see that's closer to 9.0. We must put the point zero in to show that we have rounded to that one decimal place and we know that decimal place is zero. 8.74, okay, so if we're without the diagram, you can use the diagram if you want to think about it. But if we chop off that, we look at this, is that above or below halfway? Well, that's below halfway, so we stay 8.7. 8.75, well that's 5 is halfway, so that we're going to round up to 8.8. .8. Uh, 9.0, there's a 4 there, this 8 doesn't matter. The 4 is below halfway, so that's going to be 9.0. 8.8, is it going to be 8.8 .8 or 8.9? Well it's over halfway, that 6 tells us it's past halfway, so it's 8.9 and ignore the 9 here, it's not important. The 1's the important thing. 9.1, is it 9.1 or 9.2? Well it's closer than 9.1.